the rugged and handsome Ben Schwartz. The armed and dangerous Jason Ritter. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, my life partner, Natasha Leone. Shining Armor, Sarah Quinn. And uh, my partner in crime, Polly Morgan, our DP. Sarah is our composer. Polly left. She was like, oh, oh, Vincent! Vincent, the, my real Prince Charming, Vincent Piazza. And uh, we have a lot of amazing uh, crew here as well, which I have, uh, I think, Numis, Newman, and Drew, and Wes, and Andrew, and, who else is here? Oh, Darby and Elle. Um, that's what I wanted the list for. Uh, okay, yeah. And I'm going to take like the obvious question, which is, I mean, you've loved and admired your acting work for so long. What made you choose to take, make the jump to directing? Um, well, I, I've been doing, I've been, been an actor for 20 years, and um, I wanted to be a writer before I even wanted to be an actor. And I started writing about 10 years ago, and then um, wrote this script. And this was the first script that I really wanted to try to get produced, but I wanted someone else to direct it. Um, because I was nervous about acting and directing um, at the same time. And then um, the more I reached out to people, the more it became apparent that um, I, apparent to me, that I was the only person that I really wanted to uh, tell the story. Um, and it really is just coming from a place of really uh, loving the process of filmmaking and um, loving being on sets and working with crews and working with actors. And I really just wanted to have um, a bigger piece of the puzzle because the more I do this, the less I become interested in just like, you know, my part. I want to be a part of all of it. Um, yeah, I think that's it. especially a film called The Big Chill. Um, and we just talked about, you know, how we would sort of make it feel a bit more contemporary and um, just make it have a nice, fresh feeling and a, and a new approach. So that was the main reason why um, we chose to sort of compose it in a, in a slightly unique way. Um, I'm not sure about the color blue, though, so I'll just pass that back to you. I mean, I think it was something that sort of happened um, organically as we, um, I mean, it really was kind of an accident in terms of all the wardrobe and stuff. <laughs> it was, I mean, to be totally honest with you, we, you know, it was a really hectic schedule and um, getting eight people all in the same place at the same time um, was challenging and it, 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 I feel like because so many of us are friends and we are really close and we were wearing a lot of our own clothes and I think I don't know, when you're, you're kind of with the people, like your people, you all got have weirdly a uniform, and um, your friendship uniform, um, and I do. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, they, it, I mean, it absolutely was for like Melanie and Jason's characters. Like, I wanted them to be like the male or female versions of each other, um, how you kind of turn into the person that you are in a relationship with. And I think that can also happen in a way with like your friends. I know that Melanie and I had that happen just the other day. We're in identical clothes. <laughs> You were there. Do you want to say anything about it? 
Um, I don't. I don't really remember a ton of us workshopping uh, th this movie, um, but I do remember like 1998, um, <laughs> a year, a little house in Topanga, and uh, I just remember we were like, hey, how come actors can't spend more time like the way musicians can go in the other room and jam? And um, so we decided to do dramatic readings to each other from Anna Hayes's "Call Me Crazy." <laughs> And I feel like that was essentially us workshopping <laughs> to where we are now, so congratulations. Yeah, sure, I was mainly inspired by that. Mainly inspired by that. Yeah, but a great I mean, book. We did, I mean, I think, you know, with, with something like this where we wanted to keep it really fresh and we didn't want it to feel rehearsed and we wanted it to be really organic, like it was really just a lot of conversations about the characters and the relationships and the histories. And, you know, fortunately, like, for Melanie, who's playing my best friend, and Natasha, who's playing my girlfriend, like, we, you know, we have so much history together, but it, it you know, like, turned, kind of rerouting it into, like, um, another story, but, like, still pulling on, like, the intimacy and that closeness, so. Do we have just one more question? Oh, oh, is it one on the way back? in Savannah months before and happened to go by that house or go to that house and it was um, so beautiful and I kind of wrote it um, with that in mind and um, and I really, I really, you know, like you said, that's exactly what we wanted for the house to feel like a character and um, the, it was the only place I could think of that really could do that and luckily we were able to get it. I don't know how, but we really lucked out. Thank you. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have. Thank you for the